takes you guys out here? Uh, uh, Animal liberation. <laughs> Animal liberation. Uh, by what means? Please explain. We believe that all humans, sorry, all humans, all genders, all equality for animals, humans for everybody. Everyone deserves equal rights. You know what happens to a dairy cow? She lives four years, okay, at most. She's milked every day. She's raped on a rape rack, and she, her babies are taken from her, okay? There was a time in history when that was necessary, but that time has passed. Um, with grocery stores, with trucks, with all the access we have to food at this point, we can live very healthy lives without eating them. So if we can get all the nutrients we need without causing suffering, I think that's something we should do. Why? Um, so if we can get all the nutrients we need without causing suffering, I think that's something we should do. Why are you doing that? No problem. <laughs> okay. Well, this guy's putting his horn while I'm trying to talk to you. Sorry about that, sir. That's pretty rude. Does white privilege exist? Absolutely. It does. Absolutely. And where's the proof of that? All around. You know, I tell people often now, in hindsight, um, one of the things that I wish I would have been more cognizant of was the white privilege at UCLA that was sitting you know, right next to me. For black people, I believe white privilege is something to, to leverage. Um, what is it though? I, I don't see it anywhere. What is it? What is it? For people like me privilege? who don't see it. How do you not, what, how do you not see white privilege? Because it doesn't exist. That's yes, what it does. So there's some, what there's is some it things, exactly? I believe white privilege or it's just the ability just to be free and white and not have the same type of social economic uh, and social ills as black people have to deal with. I mean, there's, there's no uh, white racial profiling. White people don't get pulled over by the cops just because they're white. Um, they have the ability to, um, you know, show emotion and, and love to their sons without being emasculated. Uh, th there's all kind of examples That's of white privilege. You Absolutely. Believe that. Why don't you? You black? How come you don't believe white privilege exists? What you see? Well, because I, I you know, like I am black in color, but I don't have that dark mentality that most black people have. Clearly, I see. She said clearly. Mm -hmm. I see that. Wow! 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 Clearly, she said clearly. Clearly, you don't see it there, Jesse. Jesse just keeps on asking the questions. Jesse just maintains that nice, level, calm demeanor and just literally goes back in, asks the question over and over and over again until the person just gets so frustrated or then answers the question and Jesse gets the response that he wants, the truth, Ruth. And this black lady here, she's a libtard. She's an affirmative action chick. She got everything because of, not because of, you know, anything that she worked for or did anything for. The only reason that this lady was able to go to UCLA, achieve what she's achieved, is because she was giving massive stepping stones to step over other people, whites, other blacks, Latinos, Hispanics, people from Asia, Chinese, Japanese, everybody. She was put at the front of the line, even though she didn't deserve it, only because of one reason, affirmative action, and her being black and a woman. Let's go on with Jesse. Uh, white people have the same struggles and things that we have in that what type of struggles uh, they have to do make they their have? marriages work. They have to uh, make their children, help their kids grow up in the right way so that they can earn a living and be independent. But they also have the majority they of their fathers their kids, at home. Right. And the reason yes. for that, it's starting to change somewhat now, but the reason for that is because they are taking responsibility for that, whereas black men and women are not taking responsibility for that. So true. As they did prior to the civil rights movement. Black people are blaming it on their lack of self-control and self-containment. They're blaming it on white people while white people are working hard to keep it going. I do believe themselves. that there is a need for oh, black people to be held 
held more accountable. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean that that doesn't excuse racism, that doesn't excuse institutionalized racism, that doesn't excuse... But there's no that, such thing as that. Yes, it's an illusion it made no, up not. by black people no, and their not. leaders. No, it's not. It exists. Well, Sorry. No, it's not. No, it's not. It exists. It exists. What an unbelievable libtard. This lady is starting to get on my noise. Jesse, come on now. Ask her the questions, brah. This lady is like, to me, is like when you take fingernails on a chalkboard. He just screeched down. It's like, oh, God, get that sound out of my ears. Don't do that anymore. Please stop. Stop. Please stop. That's what this lady is making me feel like. The proof of it though. What do you mean where's the proof of it? There are many kids who are getting into black kids who are uh, allowed to get into these universities around the country, right? Based on affirmative action and uh, because of affirmative action based on their color. That's discrimination based on color and that's wrong. And I, these uh, kids are getting in but they're not earning their way. I, so they, when they fail, they feel less than before they were allowed to get in based on color. I'm a proud product of affirmative action. Action. When I went to UCLA, it was because I was an affirmative action student. I'm sorry to hear that. And, yeah, and me I too. I think I turned out fantastic. I so, don't think and, so. So a lot of my peers who were having challenges getting into some of these predominantly white institutions, the affirmative action was great. My father went to, to Harvard. You know, I mean, he was one of very few blacks. Was he an affirmative action person? I don't, I, don't, I don't, don't know if he was. That was back in the late 60s. Well, then he wasn't. He okay. earned his way. So... That being said, I still believe that affirmative action helped me get into UCLA and it gave me access to You would not have gotten in there on your own because you were not smart enough? I don't know if I wasn't smart enough, but based on the curve and what I was competing with, with, with you know, other individuals who had different ec um, educational opportunities and teachers, I mean, I'm coming from, you know, the LA Unified School District. I mean, so at the time, I think LAUSD was still pretty good. But I went to all white schools um, from high school up to So you got college. a good education. Why couldn't you get into the school based on your own talent? Um, I, yes. I don't know. Maybe because I didn't have some of the opportunity. Because but you first had of all, the opportunity. No, well, first of all, You had the same the SAT, opportunity those white kids were having. Not yes. necessarily. I had different teachers. I had different... Oh, my God. a white integrated school. I'm talking about going white. into these other, uh, into UCLA, I still had to do, be able to deal with some of the issues and going to Madonna. You see what happened? She had to do the mental gymnastics there, folks. Jesse pinned her on the fact. She exactly said what she was, she said exactly the truth. She said she was going to mostly white schools. But the whole idea was is that blacks weren't able to get into the good schools. So that's why for affirmative action, but she herself clearly said that she went to predominantly white schools, which means she had everything that everybody else had. She had no excuses whatsoever. Jesse goes, she goes, well, no, I didn't really have the same thing because I had different teachers. Well, let me tell you something there, lady. You can't be stupid, idiotic, moronic, retarded your whole life. This is a, this right here is Simmer. I dubbed thee Simmer. S I M R, meaning stupid, idiotic, moronic, retarded. That's what she is. Exactly. She's there basically saying that she had different teachers. Oh, and everybody else had the same teacher, but you had all different teachers, right? Come on now. I'm white schools, like but what? I still had to be able to compete. Like what? What do you like? What the, some of the issues going to a predominantly? I went white. to when I went to uh, I would graduate from University High School, and at the time they didn't have an African American Student Union. Uh, we an African American Student Union. Mm -hmm. at the <laughs> that's <laughs> a good thing. Do? They didn't have one. That's a good thing. Yeah, that's right. Why? Why do you need something like that? They, well, they have Asian student unions. They have Jewish student unions. They did, have all kind of. Did different they have student white unions. student union? They need student union. They, they own the whole school. 
So the, <laughs> but the kids are <laughs> the only school. The kids. But I'm saying there's nothing. I don't think there's nothing wrong it's with having a you segregated, uh, you know, population of students who just want to uh, study together, or work together, or to be able Would to. Would you be in support of a white student union? Yeah, of course. It would be okay with you. Yeah, why okay. not? But most blacks don't feel that way. I think all cultures should be able to, to segregate and to be able to work within their cultures and network within their own cultures, absolutely. Does racism exist? I believe racism does exist. And where's the proof of that? You just see it all over in the country, the with proof of it. What, just the, what the do I see? Disproportion in the economics with black people. But that has nothing to do with racism. It does. Racism is about power. It's about who is in control. And black people can't be racist because we're not in control. We're not in control of the educational system, the some of the social uh, organizations and things that run this country. We're not in control. Racism is about power. But you would what be in control, in control of your own life if you had good parents, if they taught you how to be independent, if they taught you how to build, how to take care of. I've noticed that the reason I left where I lived over there in the Crenshaw District is that once the white people left, because once I moved there, when I first moved there, it was mostly whites. But once they left, as they did in Gary, Indiana, and other places, the blacks turned it into a ghetto. A beautiful area went to hell in a handbasket, so I got out. But if blacks had more character and they were taking care of themselves and being responsible and buying land and teaching their children. But that children, has to be taught. Then, that right, has, so that, that, has that has nothing to, be, to do with racism. But that has to, that, of course, that has to be taught. So it's not racism, it's not white people's fault that you're not teaching your children to do that. No, but, but it's not, if the true? parents don't know. They if don't the parents, know, if so, but that's if, not if white people. What are you talking about that parents don't know? You don't know how to keep a house clean? You don't know how to keep your damn yard clean? You don't know how to keep your house up? What do you mean you don't know? You don't know that a father should stay with the family? You don't know that you shouldn't be having babies out of wedlock? You don't know anything at all? Is this lady actually saying that people, that black people are just stupid? Is that what she's falling back on? I mean, that's just unbelievable. Jesse's getting so much information out of this lady. It's unbelievable. This lady just keeps digging a pit deeper and deeper and deeper and can't get out of it and doesn't even know that she's being, the velvet glove is coming, uh, you know, from Jesse. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, folks, this is the way that many black liberals think. Blame it all on the white man, on the white woman, on the white society. Don't take any, uh, you know, nothing, you know, you didn't do anything wrong. The black people didn't do anything wrong. The black culture didn't do anything wrong. It needs to be taught. You need to be taught. You need to be taught something there. You need to be taught that what you've been taught is completely wrong. That's what you need to be taught. Parents don't know, but if they go into some of these institutions, these predominantly white institutions, they are targeted. They don't have the same opportunity because of their color they it's true i mean so I've then been, why go in there then why not go to all black school if you some feel people that? do choose to do that i'm sorry some people do choose that's well, why, why they, they, I, you see a lot of these black kids going to uh these white universities and then they they force their way in by saying i need affirmative action once they get in now they cry racism why do you want to force your way in with the people you think are your enemies and you're still complaining once you get there. I don't think people are enforcing their way. I don't. Does affirmative, affirmative action, action even exist? Is forced it, based on color. Does, but does affirmative action even exist? Are people getting in based on affirmative action? Yes. Today, otherwise I mean, they wouldn't be there. It, it, the way Trump has it now, he's just leveled the playing field. So it is going to have to be more. That was pretty interesting for Jesse. There, quite a long conversation. We got a lot out of it. Now, obviously, you just can't take what one person is saying and saying that it's the thinking and the thought process of everybody in that community. But I will tell you that I would probably say that there is a majority or perhaps a plurality of people within the black culture, black communities, who do think the way that this lady thinks. 
Now, I don't think she's an ultra leftist from, you know, extreme, extreme left on the margins of the, in terms of the black movement, but she's certainly there left of center. There's no doubt about that for the views that she's been, um, you know, talking about and portraying and still thinks of herself and black people as victims under, you know, you know, with being the minority underneath the majority rules of whites and that whites dominate every aspect of society and that in order to get ahead, there have got to be rules. There have got to be um, policies that are put forth that allow blacks to sort of jump over the hurdles. So you see, but she has no proof of anything. She just talks about it. And as far as that's concerned, that's where there's no proof, like institutional racism now. Is there anything at all that you can point to that says institutional racism? They talk about the banking and getting loans and getting mortgages. And, you know, where is, where is a black person being stopped from getting a home loan? If you're talking about credit, that has nothing to do with race. That has to do with how you're dealing with money. Well, how have you handled it in the past? How are you handling it presently? How do the banks think you're going to handle it in the future based on how you've handled it in the past? So that's not racism. Anyways, folks, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your host. My name is Dr. Nasser. And if you haven't done so already, we'd love you to subscribe to the channel, like, share, and follow us. You all know what to do. Take a look at our video links above and below. Put your comments down. I'd love for you to share them with us. My final thought is always, when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.